What's up guys, it's your Motivational Vic Gamer and welcome to another video. Good morning. <laughs> so, apparently playing lots of hours of Paragon makes you tired. I just slept for like a long time, it's crazy. I don't even know what happened. But anyway, that's besides the point. So today, I've been getting a lot of requests to talk about R-Rank, uh, the wind... What's her name again? Oh my god, I was about to call it Phantom Thief. The Wind Nine Tails. <laughs> and so we're going to talk a little bit about Aring today, especially since she's a fusion monster. Uh, recently, in a f the last few updates, there were a couple of changes on Aring, and they improved the quality of the Nine Tails. So we're going to talk about this little mistress and what she can do for you. So my girl Aring, her first skill, uh, Will O' Wisp. Attacks an enemy three times with a shimmering light. Each strike has a 15% chance of increasing the enemy's chance of landing glancing hit for two turns. Her second skill throws soul beads at the enemy to deal damage and recovers the same amount of inflicted damage as HP. Additionally, all, excess ugh, all excessive HP recovery from this skill will be converted into a shield that lasts for two turns. Um, her third skill attacks an enemy and decreases their attack speed, attack power, and defense for two turns. Now. Wow, let's just say that. Wow, I haven't looked at r in a long time. That is a very, 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 very strong single target kit. So, before we even talk about their multipliers and how much damage they deal, understand that this, this particular unit can be used pretty much anywhere that you would like to use her. If you're looking for a giant's attacker, if you guys are looking to follow like a pure fusion progression, you can use her in giants as your primary attacker. Well, why? Well, why would you use Aring as your attacker? Well, if you're not fortunate enough to have an AoE attacker like, let's see, Amir, um, the Wind Frit, or some other crazy AoE attacker, Aring can be very, very nice. Well, why? Well, because of the simple fact that she brings all of the negative effects that will help you be successful in Giants. Well, what negative effects are those? Specifically, attack break and glancing. Everything else is pretty much beneficial, like the attack speed reduction, um, you know, and the defense break are also great, but the glancing on one, and then also the fact that she reduces attack power on three, makes her a very, very, very formidable opponent for the Giant, and can be very, very successful on your team. Now she brings a couple of other things to the table that can make her very very beneficial, especially with the fact that her third skill has, has a 800% multiplier. Let me say that again, 800%. So she's doing 8 times damage on whatever you're dealing based on your attack power, crit rate, you know, crit damage combination. Um, and also with Soul Snatcher with a 580% multiplier, this little girl can hit very 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 hard. Now the beautiful thing about her second skill is that she um, basically steals the damage that she deals. So the better your runes are, the more she's going to heal herself for. And anything that, that she heals herself for now over her maximum HP is going to become a shield. So not only that, now she has some survivability um, added to her because of the simple fact that a, she heals herself. So that takes a little bit of pressure off of your healer to keep, you know, and keeping her alive. So your healer can basically just kind of focus on everybody else. Aring's like, hey, I got this. Don't touch me. I got this. <laughs> so Aring, if you guys are wondering if you guys should or could use her for like, let's say, a Giant's composition uh, or some other kind of composition, you definitely can. Now in terms of anywhere else, are you going to use her for like Necro? I mean, you could uh, with like a Vile Revenge build, especially with the self-sustain. The problem is, is even though she has a three hit skill on her first, if she happens to waste her second skill or third skill on the boss when his, when his shield is up, it's going to nullify um, basically her effectiveness in combat. Obviously, you're probably not going to use her in Dragon's 10. However, you could essentially use her as a raid attacker because of all the negative effects that she does apply. Which with And being that she applies so many negative effects, it opens up um, your team selection because then if she's applying glancing, attack break, defense break, attack speed, reduction then you can focus other roles uh, with the other couple of negative effects that you still need to apply like recovery block etc and because her multipliers are so hard or excuse me so high um, she can deal quite the significant amount of damage and still make your raid team effective if that's what you guys are looking for um, although there might be some better options units that deal more damage based on how many harmful effects present etc etc Aring still makes a very very valuable valuable choice if you guys are looking for a unit that's transitional especially being a single target unit um, could you use her in guild battle if you wanted or PvP sure um, but she, again she might be outclassed by units that bring AoE instead of just single target attacks but for all of the stuff 
stuff that she has for all of the negative effects and all the things that she does with multipliers being as high as they are, um, she can be very, 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 very effective for you in your journey to becoming the best summoner in the world. <laughs> so with that being said, guys, that covers it for R-ring. If you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns about this particular unit, definitely let me know in the box below. I'll be happy to assist. And with that being said, guys, hope you guys enjoyed this video, and we will see you guys next time. Peace.